Good morning, welcome to Positive Physics for You. <laughs> right, okay guys, this morning we're going to do the fracture strength of aluminium. Um, I've got the equipment set up here. I've taken some photographs so that you can determine the measurements that you need in order to work out the maximum fracture stress uh, for this particular aluminium sample. Um, now, I've already done a preliminary experiment. Admittedly, I was recording it to say it to you and I managed to break everything. So my preliminary experiment has to told me that this particular sample can hold above 500 grams of mass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at 500 in the hope that it doesn't break immediately. And then I'm going to add smaller increments in order to find out the exact fracture stress. If you were planning a practical like this, you might want to suggest a preliminary experiment to find out a rough idea of where your stress lies, so that then you can go into a more detailed or perhaps smaller division in your weight addition in order to more precisely identify the force required. So here we have 500 grams I will also let you know the mass of this little um, hook here, which is what we're using to attach the mass. So there we have 500 grams. And Marcus is going to give me a hand by passing me the masses. So we've got 500. We're going to go to 550. 600 and now I'm going to go up in 20s so 620 640 660 all right then we've got tens 670, 680, 690, 700. Right, we're okay at 700. I'm going to have to take some of these off and put some larger masses on so that I can then get a more precise measurement. Although what you possibly can't see, I don't know whether I can turn it around, is that actually we're seeing some lines, we're seeing some stretching going on in our sample here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off, this is up at 700, wasn't it? Um, and I'm going to take some of the masses off. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Have you got a hundred there? One of the big ones. So that's 700, we're going to put on our 700, okay, and we'll go up in 10s I think, so 710, 720, and there we go, 720 grams taken to fracture that piece of aluminium. So I will send you all the details that you need, all the measurements with pictures with the ruler so you can take the measurements. And what I would like you to do is to write a description of a precise experiment, taking into account a preliminary experiment that you might want to do. I want you to calculate the fracture stress for this aluminium, remember stress is force over area, cross-sectional area, and I would also like you then to compare that to the stress, fracture stress data of aluminium that you can find online. Thanks very much. If you've got any questions, do email me or email Mrs Tonkin and we can answer them. Thank you.